Hi guys and welcome to my question and answer video. So, we have a few questions. The first from... <laughs> the first question is from Kathy. How much do you love your internet mum? Well, I think that's almost impossible to answer because I love her so much. Emily asked, do you take sugar and milk with your tea? Well, I'm currently drinking uh, English breakfast tea, Twining's, it's a tea bag, um, and no, I do not take sugar in my tea. Yes, I do take milk, but as I am vegan, it is a um, almond and coconut uh, blend milk made by, I think, Sanitarium, so good brand. I find that sugar actually detracts from the um, flavour of the drink for s some reason. All I can taste is the sugar when I have sugar in my drinks. Um, Eddie asked, who is your Dolly Collector BFF? Well, that would be you, Eddie. What is your current favourite out of your collection? Okay, well, I'm just looking at the collection now. Um, well, sentimentality means a lot to me when it comes to anything, really. So, it would have to be a sentimental doll. And I find that the more artsy dolls, the artist dolls are quite meaningful because they're not mass produced and they're very unique so I'd have to say probably my Mary Magpie because she's obviously gorgeous and she's the work of Joey Versor and she was a gift from my partner for my 21st I think so yeah Mary Magpie what do I love most about doll collecting? I'd have to say discovering new uh, sort of styles um, like uh, you know mod and uh, vintage and sort of the different I don't know what you call it the different genres of fashion what do I hate most about doll collecting? I'd have to say that doll collecting can be overwhelming, it can um, also put you in financial difficulty if you're not very good at controlling your spending, and also the um, sometimes people, your loved ones, can feel like the dolls are more important than them and it can cause sort of conflicts and that's not very good so you need to be able to find a balance you know uh, not spending too much not focusing on it too much and yeah not letting it get out of control Wizzy asked do you have a lot of small accessories etc that aren't on display if so how do you store them and uh, so you can find them easily for photos. Okay, so um, I do have quite a few accessories, like small accessories, that um, I don't really use. I like to have them, and I think they're really cute and that, but I do not use them because they just create so much clutter, and the dolls can't actually hold onto them, so they end up just laying at their feet and that's not really, I don't know, it's not really exciting for me. Um, but um, I don't really store anything easily, like easily accessible. Because I have such limited space, things tend to get stored away and behind other things. So, but I store the accessories in the accessory boxes in the vinyl cases, so you get a vintage vinyl Barbie case and there'll be a little box that will slide in and that's where all the accessories go. 
or if I'm lazy I'll just chuck them in with the clothes. How do you set up and light your photos? Well, I tend to favour natural lighting for my photos, so I'll usually take the photo close to a window or outside. Um, if, if natural lighting is not available, I usually try and use a torch that is um, sort of a bluish light and I try and diffuse it with uh, tissue or something but I'll also use the torch to create shadows for interesting effects and I'll also use it for a spotlight. Um, I also use my lamp if I need a warm light for a more romantic or moody um, photograph. I'll also either use my hand to hold the doll or I'll use some thread to hold the doll up if in a particular pose. Sometimes I will use a um, partially hidden stand which I'll then edit out later or I'll use the old uh, straw behind the back trick which is used to prop a doll up against a background or backdrop. Do I catalogue my collection? I sort of do. Whenever I purchase an item I will keep a record of the listing and I'll keep the um, the photographs from the listing and I will also put the price and all that and I will store them in folders which I then store in other folders and stuff on my computer. Um, but um, it's very messy and it's not very um, tidy. It's I've got the records of dolls that are long gone and stuff all intermixed with my records and I should probably clean that up but um, I like keeping those records because um, if there's a problem with the doll or whatever and the seller tries to say that it was disclosed in the um, the listing when it wasn't, you have the, that record of the listing for that purpose. And when I was younger, I did use to catalogue my collection because I had a lot more time. I'd number each individual doll and I'd write down what she was and how much she cost and what she was worth and all that. But these days I just don't have the time for that kind of cataloguing. What do you enjoy seeing in other people's photos of their dolls and toy collections? So, as I've said before, I'm really into artsy things. I'm not crazy about photographs where it's just a doll plonked on a sheet or against a wall and photographed as a way of sort of cataloguing one's collection. That doesn't really interest me, but um, I like it when um, seeing the way that people use lighting differently, which links back to your previous question. Um, also the kind of props that people will make and um, just the way that they'll style the doll's hair or, you know, mix and match different outfits and... Um, yeah, so I just like things that could inspire me and my photography. Do you have any long-term goals for your collection? Well, <sighs> I th I'm not really sure what that means, but um, I do have a wish list and there are quite a few dolls on that. I'm getting towards, the, I'm getting to the point where the dolls on my wish list are very expensive dolls that I'll probably never be able to afford, but um, yes, I'm just trying to get all the stuff on my wish list. Eventually, you know, I want to have a very concise collection of dolls that I really love and that inspire me, because 
my ultimate goal is to create my own doll line in the future, one day, probably. I'll never get to it. I'll probably never get around to it. But, you know, that's what I want to do and that's what purpose my collection should serve. Thank you all for your questions. Um, I think everyone that asked the question is from Flickr originally and they probably asked them on Flickr too because I asked for questions both here on YouTube and on Flickr but um, I have gotten quite a few subscribers since posting regular videos some of you I know from Flickr some of you I don't and I just want to say thank you for subscribing and I hope you enjoy my videos and um, don't be a stranger. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.